everybody. My name is Maria. My name is Micah. Hi. And we are making breakfast this lasagna. lasagna. This recipe has been in my repertoire for many, many years. It's in the ketogenic cookbook and it's absolutely delicious. And I want to share it with you. So what you need is I already scrambled my eggs. We have scrambled eggs. It's actually 18 eggs scrambled with salt. That's it. Um, we have mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese. What's that? Uh, ham. ham. And we have some onion. Um, you could use ground pork. I'm using ground beef because guess what? It's the coronavirus and that's what I have. I have butcher box ground beef. I use kettle and fire broth. And guess what? I'm out of beef broth, so I'm using chicken and mushroom broth. It's still going to be delicious. And we need cream cheese. Kai, can you get one more cream cheese out of the fridge for me? So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to saute some onion in here. I'm just going to cut that up. Um, you could use garlic too, but I like onion. I know you guys say you don't, but when I put it in things, you say it's extra delicious. All right, we'll scoot that out of the way. And we're going to chop this up. And Kai, can you get a little bit of butter out of the fridge? Thanks, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Cook with your kids. It really, like, someday yeah. you're going to grow up and all your friends are going to be like, hey, Mike is cooking tonight. Super excited. Kai, get the butter quick. Your friend is your kid? Here we go. Now it's on. All right. Got one. I need just a little bit of butter. Thank you, my friend. To saute the onions in, which I know that you love, love, love. Okay, so I don't need a ton of butter, just a little bit to start sauteing. And once that gets yeah, soft, why is this not heating up? I love cast iron because once it's hot, it is hot. Don't play with a knife. Yes, you can open that. And Micah, you can actually cut that open with the scissors. How's that sound? And open this cream cheese too. You need 16 ounces of cream cheese. That's about a package and a half, or that is a package and a half. You know what I noticed when I go to Canada? What? There, that, sh that scissor is very not sharp. We need to fix that. Their uh, cream cheese is a little grainy. I don't know if anybody else from Canada notices that. It's different than the U.S. No, Even my, my friend's in Canada. I know your friend is in Canada. When we were at the Keto Condo, they made friends with people downstairs, and guess what? They knew who we were. They were like, we have your books. But they had another little boy named Kai. K-Y-E. They spelled it different. And they played football with them and, and soccer and Kane um, for a whole month. And then they left. But, and then the coronavirus happened. So this is nice and soft. So then I'm going to add my butcher box beef. Now, I did it with beef a while ago because I had a friend come over for Easter brunch. Not this year because nobody could because of the coronavirus. And she didn't eat pork um, for religious reasons. So I made it with beef and I used uh, deli chicken um, so she could have it. But this gravy, this is my biscuits and gravy recipe. Um, I'm not a big fan of almond flour just for my tummy. Um, but I do love this uh, gravy recipe over scrambled eggs. And so this breakfast lasagna is like thebomb.com. And I, it's the bomb. <laughs> I highly recommend you make it for your mother on Mother's Day. Will you make this for me on Mother's Day? Sure. Sure. So you're just going to brown the beef. And once that is browned, you're going to start adding the softened cream cheese. Now, if I add it in like this, it's going, nope, I need you to put that in a bowl and warm it up. Oh, I just said, just go way hot. Um, and here's another half. So that and this half need to go in a bowl. Because if you put it in here just right now, it's going to have little clumps. Here, buddy, put it in this one. Guy, there's a bowl. Okay. For about uh, 70 seconds, okay? Because if I would have thought about this, I would have had the cream cheese out and already softened. All right, so we're going to just plop that in there. Let's just pretend it's softened. And we'll just pretend that it's not going to clump up. It's still going to taste delicious. Nobody really cares. It's all good. You put that in the garbage, too. <laughs> you forgot where the garbage was. So this is the cream cheese. This is the gravy mixture. No, I was 
try to go to that garbage. That garbage. But, uh, this is the best gravy you've ever had. So once the cream cheese is all softened, you're going to uh, use your kettle and fire broth or whatever broth you have. Homemade is best, right? I used yeah. to make it all the time for Mr. Kai when he was a baby. You already had your, you were two and a half. You already did not want to eat that. But can you open that? So you just, yeah, put that top up. And then you have to cut it. OK. And this is what's nice about having your kids around. They can help you throw things away. They can help open things. Just don't cut your finger. If you just have it open a little bit, you need a cup and a half of broth. So this is going to make a lot of gravy. But if you don't use it all, I'm telling you, it's so good left over. And you're also going to want to make extra. Help. Let your kids help. Do you like helping? Sometimes it's way messier, but sometimes it's just way more fun, isn't it? Yeah. And, and sometimes cleaning. Sometimes cleaning. Oh, yeah, sometimes. Oh, thanks. You really opened it. Good. Um, I don't have a measuring cup. If you guys want to grab one. Yeah. Can you find a measuring cup? A one cup one. I need one and a half cups. If you have a half a cup one, I can work with that. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, Kai, it worked, and you didn't yeah. even have to warm it up. It's yeah. melting pretty good. That's all right, bud. I'm just going to eyeball it. That's all right. I kind of know. I've made this so many times. And it will thicken um, when you use it. So I'm just going to let that start cooking away. Kai, you are going to stand you over here. You always have to put a cream cheese in a microwave. No, you don't. And if you want to be dairy free, you could try to use Kite Hill cream cheese with this uh, gravy mixture. And then you can put the gravy on your eggs. It's delicious. Kai, I need you to stir that. But if it's broken, you got to do the microwave. Go over here, buddy. Okay, let's right, so stir it. Alright, no, right here. <laughs> you need to stir this for me. Stir that for me. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to get your pan. I should have gotten a bigger one, but it's, this one's so pretty I want to use I don't a picture. Knock it out and I'm going to put one layer of eggs on the bottom. Alright. And you're like, what are you using for noodles, Maria? You know, the protein noodle lasagna. We're using uh, ham now because ham is so delicious. Um, I actually prefer ham over bacon. <gasps> Nobody wants to hear that, right? Everybody loves bacon. So half the eggs are going to go into the bottom. And then, hey, Mike, oh, do you have the ham open? Awesome. Can you do um, a layer of ham? Like maybe four slices. There we go. Oh, maybe three. Three slices, maybe. They're nice and big. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, you can talk about Preston's birthday. Okay. And now I'm going to... Our cousin had her, his birthday, and his name is... His name is... Preston. Preston! That's my sister's little boy. He's not so little anymore. How old is he? 13? 12. So you're going to ladle this gravy right on in here. If you're if you're uh, Preston, if you're watching, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Preston. Maybe somebody will make you breakfast lasagna. So, there we go. We have a layer of that. You can stop stirring, buddy. I want that to lay right there. And then Micah, can you sprinkle some cheese over that? Not all of it, just some. There we go. Put the cheese on it. You could use something like a Monterey Jack or a cheddar. Cheddar doesn't melt as well as mozzarella does. Um, so you just kind of have to play with it. Um, what's it? Munster melts well. Um, Havarti would melt well. But they're just kind of pricey cheeses. Mozzarella is nice and cheap. Um, so then do a little bit of this cheese. This is Parmesan, and then we're going to go back to the eggs and start all over again. When I meet Preston, uh... Oh my gosh, you know what I forgot? Uh -huh. I forgot salt in the gravy. I'm going to salt it now. We, ha we use our Redmond salt. We're going to salt that on up. Oh boy, that's not going to taste so good. Well, oh well. When, uh, <laughs> we 
talk to Preston. I'm going to say, Oops, check sorry. our video about uh, your birthday. About lasagna. Birthday yeah. lasagna. Birthday breakfast lasagna. So now you're going to use the rest of the eggs. This is such a good recipe. I'm excited. I might be eating it tonight. <laughs> Ma and actually, our grandma says... And then can um, you do another layer of ham, Micah? Says, Preston eats anything. He does. He does. There we go. We have three slices. So we're using Applegate. They have an organic um, ham. Um, no nitrates, anything like that. Not that I'm really afraid of nitrates, but... Yeah. That's perfecto mundo. And now we're going to go back to the gravy. Put some gravy on that. Here, I'll move it closer so I stop spilling all over. How's that sound? <laughs> Put some gravy on there, my mom. Yes, my yes, yes. Now it actually has salt. So this gravy will seep down into the unsalted gravy. Yeah. It just works. It just works. Yeah. Be forgiving to yourself. Um, I was talking to my sister this morning about Julia Child. She wants to start a blog, and I said, um, you know, Julia wasn't Julia until she was well-established in her life. She was quite, you know, a uh, mature woman, and that's when she started um, cooking, and she became Julia Child. So now we're going to go back to the cheese, and we're almost done. Sprinkle. 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 And you want to uh, preheat your oven to, like, 325. And then you're going to put this in the oven, I don't know, for half an hour just until like everything's, everything's cooked. You're not going to have to worry about it until like the cheese is melted. Yeah, use it all up. Use the Parmesan up. And once we're finished, we're going to bring that back out so we can have some of it. Would you eat it, Micah? I don't know. You don't know. I will. That's all right. More for me. Yeah. M more the better. You know, you don't have to share what you're saying. We all have the things we like. He likes salmon. I don't like salmon. So I'm proud that he likes like salmon. salmon too. So this is going to go into the oven. Micah, can you open the oven for me? Mom, I like salmon. You do. I also like salmon. And we'll check you back in about 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, it is finished. Watch out, boys. This is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Coming in hot. Oh my goodness, can you close that, Micah? Oh, this is, look at this. This is a beaut, Clark. This is a beaut. And before you cut it, mm -hmm. let it sit for a couple minutes yeah. to, just like any lasagna. You know, right now it's bubbly, it's um, too hot to eat anyway. This looks like a square lasagna. It's like square lasagna. If you haven't tried the protein noodle lasagna, try the protein noodle lasagna recipe video that we made. Um, but, yeah, make this for Mother's Day. It's really nice. Micah, did you want to say something to everybody? I did, Mom. <laughs> Hit that like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Isn't he good? He yeah. is good. He's good. All right, everybody. Mahalo. Mahalo.